here is a blank graph and a data chart. And we are going to take the data off of this chart right here, this table, and we're going to put it right here and make a line graph. <clears throat> so this is our scenario. Rockstar Jim's music album has just been released. The number of fan followers from a leading social network site for the first 10 days are noted. Read the data and draw a line graph. Well, we can do that, okay? So they have already labeled our empty graph here. This is our x-axis and it goes horizontally. They've named that day. This is our y-axis that goes vertical and these numbers right here in increments of 100 stand for the number of fans that Big Jim had. All right, so on day one, Jim had 300 fans. So we have to find day one, which is right here, and climb the ladder until we get to 300. Then we're gonna put a dot right on that line. On day two, Jim had 500 fans. So we're gonna go to day two, and we're gonna go up, draw a point on 500. On day three, there were 550 fans. So we're gonna go to day three. Now there's not a 550, but we know that 550 is halfway in between 500 and 600. So we're gonna go up and draw a point right in between 500 and 600. On day four, Jim had 800 fans. So day four, we're going to climb up until we get to 800 and then draw our point. On day five, Jim had 600 fans. So day five, he dropped a little bit. <clears throat> We're going to go to 600. On day six, he grew again and he had 700 fans. So we're gonna go over to day six and we're gonna climb this line until we get to 700. Right, there's our point. On day seven, Jim had 850 fans. So that would be his peak. He has never had that many before, okay? So there's 850, right between 800 and 900. On day eight, Jim had 600 fans. So day eight, drop some to 600. On day nine, old Big Jim, he drops a little bit more, okay? So on day nine, he had 450 fans, which is right in between 400 and 500 over here. And then on day 10, old Jim was back where he started from. He had 300 fans just like he did when he started out, okay? So we have plotted all of our points from our data chart up here. Now we're just gonna draw a line and connect those, just like connect the dot in kindergarten, the good old years, right? And now we have a perfect line graph. So this graph shows Rockstar Jim's number of fan followers that he had per day for 10 days. <clears throat> All right. The next thing we're going to do is answer some questions off of this chart. This is uh, Caitlin. She's eight years old. Okay. Right now she is 55 inches tall. Now her parents have been keeping track of her height over the years. Every two years, they measure how tall she is and they have put it on this night nice neat line graph for us okay now all we have to do is go down here and answer our questions i know this is a little blurry for you guys to see my printer is almost out of ink but we're going to hang in there and do this anyway okay how tall was caitlin when she was four years old well let's look on our x-axis that's labeled age and we're going to find four years old which is right here we're going to follow that line up until we get to our point right there. Then we're going to go over and see what number we get. And this shows us that she was 40 inches tall when she was four years old. So we're going to put 40 inches. Remember, I-N stands for inches. How much had Caitlin grown from the time she was born to six years old? 
So what we have to do is find out how tall Caitlin was when she was born. Okay, that's his birth. I'm going to follow that up. Here's our point. It takes us over. She was 15 inches long or high when she was born. Now we have to look at when she was six years old, which is right here. Follow our line up till we get to our point. Go horizontally to get our number and it shows us she was 45 inches when she was six years old. So what we have to do is find the difference, which means we subtract in Caitlin's height when she was six years old and her birth. So we're going to do 45 subtract 15 and we get 30. So Caitlin grew 30 inches from the time she was born until she was six years old. <clears throat> All right. Now we're going to have to read this chart uh, backwards a little bit. Okay. How old was Caitlin when she was 30 inches tall? So now we have to go over here and find 30 inches, which is right here. Okay, and to find out how old she was, we're going to follow this line over until we reach our point. Then we're going to drop down and we find out that Caitlin was two years old when she was 30 inches tall. So two years old. All right, the next question asks us how tall she might be when she's 10 years old. Okay. Now, we can uh, eliminate some of these answers just looking at her growth chart now. So she is 55 inches tall right now, as you see. And we're assuming because she has consistently grown over these eight years that she's going to continue growing. OK, so we're going to mark out 55. And also, she's already hit 50 inches. OK, so we are going to mark that out, too. That cannot be one of our answers because she is past that. Now, every two years, she has grown anywhere between um, five inches to 15. So from birth to two years, she grew 15 inches. From two years to four years, she grew 10 inches. From four to six, she only grew five. And then from six to eight, she grew another 10 inches. So in her entire life, she has grown, let's see, 20, 30, 40, 55. Well, her entire life, she's only grown 55 inches. Okay. So we are going to look at the answers that we have down here. We have 85 and we have 65. In two years, she has never grown over 15 inches in that two years. So we're going to assume that's not going to happen again. OK, that she's going to steadily grow five to 10 inches every two years. So we can say 85 inches would be too much. That would be 30 inches in two years. And she's never done that before. We are not going to assume she's going to have a huge growth spurt like that. So we're going to mark out 85. The average has been 10 um, inches per year, per two years, I'm sorry. So we are going to say she will be 65 inches in the next two years when she reaches 10. All right. One last question about how tall might Caitlin have been when she was five? Well, we can find that out real easy. OK, we go up here. <clears throat> Five years would be right in between four and six. OK, so what we're going to do is just follow this up until we reach our graph line and then follow it over and look closely. And we can see that she was somewhere between 40 and 45 inches when she was five years old. So let's look at our answers down here. She was more than 40 inches, OK, and less than 45. So we can eliminate those two answers automatically. 49 inches is way up here, right at 50. So we know she wasn't 49 inches. 
So our answer is going to be 43 inches. Okay, hopefully this has given you a little review on what a line graph is, how to make one, as well as how to read one and answer questions looking at it. I hope you guys have a great uh, rest of your day on Wednesday and tune in tomorrow for some more fun math.